Kia ora. you're back for some more learning from an NZ tradie and I am going to talk about the 400 volt control circuit for a contactor. So I've erased it out, I'm going to redraw it for you so you can follow along that, then I'll wire it, we'll take my board that I made in the previous video over, plug it in and test it out on a motor. Now, we're gonna take our phase from the first phase. You could take any phase, but we're just gonna use first phase this time. Across here. And down into our stop button. And you remember the stop is a normally closed contact. All stop buttons are. Then it comes across here to the start button and that's an open contact. Like this then goes through the normally closed of the overload. Remember, an overload is also a stop button. Then onto the coil. Out of the other end of the coil, we'll bring it out this side, goes to phase two, or whatever other phase you didn't use on the first one. So it could go to two or it could go to three. We'll bring it along and we'll put it into two, like that. Now, remember, this wouldn't hold it on unless you press the button and held it. So we've got to put in our latch, which is in parallel, because remember, start buttons are in parallel, stop buttons are in series. Now, this is also a normally open, so we'll just draw that up a little bit, hopefully you can see that. And that is 13 and 14 on the contactor. On this contactor, it's actually 21 and 22. So we'll write 21 and 22. So this is where I stitched myself up, but a backstory using a bunch of secondhand contactors that we've got in stock. 21 and 22 is a normally closed contact, which is what I said, but I needed a normally open contact. So later on in the video, I find a different contactor that has a normally open and replace it with that. When you draw out wiring diagrams like this, it's quite helpful to have a look at the numbers that you have on your contactor. For instance, the normally closed is a one and a two, so we can go one and two. The, the start for the normally open is a three and a four, so we can go three and four. The contactor normally closed is 65, uh, 95 and 96. Then the coil is A1 on one side and A2 on the other side. So now if you had this ready for you, you should just be able to find the numbers and follow it all the way through, see? And the thing that's, that you've got to not get confused about is, as you can see, this is our 24 volt contactor the diagram is exactly the same because the only thing that's actually changing is this is three phase and this is not which means the only difference is this goes back to a neutral or a negative this goes back to the second phase otherwise the control circuits is just exactly the same i'll wire it up we'll take it over plug it in and i'll show you it operating Just here's where I started testing to find out what my problem was to find that it was a normally closed contact. Okay, so follow me through. I think that in videos to come I'll put a bit of wire ma cable management on here as well. So because of what I said we've just bypassed um, the overload. I'll probably upload a video at some stage talking about overloads specifically. So we've got our phase one coming in here all the way down onto the stop switch. Stops it, it's normally closed, so as it is, it's just a connection. Comes through to the start button, and from the start button it goes up and onto the normal. Okay, I've changed the contactor because I stitched myself up. This only has a normally closed, and if you put your latch in on the normally closed, it will just 
vibrate on and off. And so I've fixed that up. And this is the only other 400 volt contactor. Didn't have an auxiliary that could go on that or anything. But now let's test it. So we're all live at the moment. My foot on the motor until we're ready to go. And you can press start. And the motor's running. Holding the contactor in. It's all going just fine. Press the stop button. And it turns off. So remember, first phase comes down here through the stop button, which is normally closed, on the start button, which is normally open, through to the hold in contact, which is in parallel, and then out onto the phase two. So if we test from A2 to the start, to the stop button, because that's the last spot that it is live, we have 401 volts. Just like that. Got the three phase motor running here, and all three phases present. One of the things that could happen on a three phase motor or in a three phase situation is you could lose one phase. Now, if you lose, say, the blue phase, The contactor still holds in, but the motor runs very poorly. Although if the motor hadn't been on to begin with, and you had no white phase, because that's where we come back to is the white phase, the motor won't actually start at all. But if you had the blue phase not on, this will start because we still have our two control circuit phases, but we don't have the third motor phase, so you'll hear this. See how much smoother it runs with all three phases? So there's two little tips for you if you are having trouble with three phase contactors. If you like that video, follow for more from an NZ Trady.